I'm new. I'm here with Kitty, Belle, and Chloe. Got another super fun winter craft for you, although this is the first one of the day, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just got done singing winter songs, so you know, thinking about winter. I'm pretending it's winter today for those you know that may see this video out of order. In the middle of July, we're pretending it's winter, so we have this cute little beaded snowflake. And it involves a lark's head knot right there. And then an over... <laughs> Snow's already falling here. I guess it's working, <laughs> huh? A, um overhand knot right there. So we're going to practice our knots. And for those of you that are with us, yeah, we'll, we'll go over how to do those knots real quick. So in case you don't remember, um, we will link our, all our other videos. So... Um, We'll have fun. All right, campers, you ready to see what we need to make our little snowflakes? Yeah! Awesome. Now, for those of you that got a camp kit, um, we're pretending that Wednesday is green. We thought about it. We went and made it blue, but we made it green. Um, maybe because we're getting rid of the green grass in favor of snow, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, we'll say that. Okay, so this is what it would look like. You notice most of them, um, we had planned for an envelope and decided the bag would be much easier. So in our little bag, as you can see, we have a couple of chenille stems. We have three of them actually. Um, they're half a full length. So take one, if you're working without a camp kit, take one, fold it over, cut it in half. Um, get your caregiver to help you with those wire cutters. Regular scissors ruin. So you want to use wire cutters. And again, caregiver. Caregiver person for all these things. Um, a little piece of yarn. You know, not quite a foot. Just a little piece just to make our little hanger on the top. And then we have some beads. And we picked these um, snow-colored, wintry-looking beads. Some blue, silver, clear, white. The whole thing. So... Campers, you ready to see how to make our little beaded snowflakes? Yeah! Awesome! Okay, to start with, we're going to take our three chenille stems. Oh, we saw the other day we bought some of these and they said they were fuzzy sticks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever that's about. So I just kind of take them and kind of twist them all together. Those of you that are used to making, using twist ties, just kind of twist them together. Um, you got to make some of them across. From, it doesn't matter if they're across. I have mine straight across. This one, I don't have the same color straight across. So it doesn't really matter. Just get them all twisted together. And then you'll go ahead and put a couple beads on. I'll grab a couple here. Now, I think this may work with the longest one. This one's kind of the longest. doesn't matter. But I was going to start with the top to show you. Oop, I'm going to throw that bead down first. Um, now for the top piece, you want to take it and you want to kind of wrap it around your thumb. Give it a little loop there. And then twist this piece. Do be careful because these can poke. Okay. Now for the others, you would put the beads on and then just kind of roll it up if you see the way this one's done. Just kind of roll it up. You can put loops on the end, but it's not so important. We just got to roll them up. Okay. Now we're going to take our piece of yarn and we're going to fold it in half. And then we're going to take our two ends, stick them through there. Pull them and then take our loop. We're making it Lark's head knot. So there's our loop. There's our put them through and pull tight. Now to make our overhand knot, hold it with this hand. You know what? I'm going to tie this one left handed because I know how. Hold it your non knot tying hand. Take three Girl Scout fingers, put them on top, twirl around your thumb, and stick them through like that. Pull tight. And now I'll do it right handed. Hold it in my non-knot tying hand, three Girl Scout fingers, twirl them around my thumb, we have our six, and we'll stuff those in through the belly of that six. And we'll just slide it up there, and I will finish off putting my beads on. 
So, campers, you ready to make your beta snowflakes? Yeah! Awesome. And we're finished. I forgot to say to cover the table, didn't I? Yeah. Oops, we'll put a note. Um, the reason what made me think of covering the table is the fact that there's all these little bits from these silver uh, chenille stems here. So there's our, we've got <laughs> Chloe's snowflake to our little snowflakes and we can pretend the snow is falling now. Yes. So we hope that you have fun. Don't forget to clean up your mess and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.